Um, and so the idea would be to, uh, to do this. Uh, essentially, let's say we use uh, integers. Okay. And uh, hopefully I spelled everything right. So we have uh, those couple of things. And now we can define what this class can do with these numbers. Okay, so that's the start. That's the idea. So instead of representing fraction in the floating point, uh, point format, represent as two integers. And so we can uh, deal with, uh, with fractions expressed as two integers and try to make them usable. All right. So um, the rational number like this, uh, numerator uh, divided by the denominator is said to have um, uh, this, this uh, uh, and uh, uh, typically sort of like a normalized version of this is the denominator, the, the, the part on the bottom, uh, it, it usually kept strictly positive, that's fine. So mathematically there are some other rules that we can observe and the rational numbers can be simplified, normalized or reduced right in case when the numer uh, numerator and denominator has one or more common factors so if it's like uh, 2 divided by 4 we could probably say 1 divided by 2 which probably which is the reduced version of that fraction so all right so some some ideas already kind of ready to be implemented here so creation of a rational number obviously needs to take uh, needs to take either both uh, n and d or just one and then assume that d is is one but so take the numerator so without uh, uh, much weight let's do it so we're going to add some constructors and one will be this constructor which takes basically int uh, numerator and denominator both will be taken and of course oh uh, actually we'll we'll write implementation later these the, another version of this would be taking just the numerator all right so we will we'll implement. So let's make this public. Uh, let's just sort of like say public right here. So this will be public, uh, uh, public constructors, and to, to implement them, we just say Control C, copy. Go to rational uh, class uh, implementation file. Paste this in. Uh, so these guys are. Uh, basically in scope of the class so we need to prefix uh, them by you know what what's appropriate uh, something like this uh, and uh, also give each constructor a body uh, which it's required you know in the implementation however of course uh, we can uh, initialize those two data members here by simply uh, using initializer list so basically the member uh, of our class right here can be initialized by whatever was passed to the to the constructor right and similarly uh, by the way the initializer list would of course require this and then the denominator which is another thing we want to initialize with initial initializer list will be doing this so a uh, compiler actually is not getting confused by uh, the local parameter na name and the uh, m member of the, uh, the name of the, of the data member in our class because it knows this is the, the, the member of, of the class and this is the parameter that was passed to me. So I'm basically using constructor syntax to initialize those two, uh, two integers inside of our, uh, of our object when the object is created. Uh, in a similar manner, of course, another initializer list, you can copy and paste here and say over here we do it this way, but then we assume that uh, the denominator is 1. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense.
and that we're building some something that uh, you know uh, tries to do something reasonable with our rational class. So as you can see, uh, keeping uh, declarations of functions in the uh, just an interface manner inside class alongside with some data is really makes the definition of the class very readable. It's a much better alternative. And then have an implementation file to define these individual functions. And you know you can do this in any order. And it's very flexible. And uh, you know it's just, uh, it's, it's just, I guess, ideal situation when you can have a separate implementation file or uh, and, and, a, and a separate header file, as opposed to write this implementation in line inside the, uh, the single header file. By the way, those definitions don't have to be in the same file. Sometimes you can have, for one class, you can have multiple implementation files. So this gives you even more flexibility in terms of how you structure your, your code. Right? Whereas in Java, you have only one choice, write everything in line inside your class. So it's sometimes you, know, you open a class and you start looking at it in Java, and there's like 5,000 uh, lines of code in that file. Whereas you know, here, you can just create very, very, oops, uh, very uh, uh, short definition and uh, implementation, which will take you know, thousands of lines of code to do uh, elsewhere, which is a much, much easier to manage. Um, so it, it, you understand that this is a very acceptable uh, you know, arrangement to, to take. So that's why I spent extra minute or two to organize those two files. Now, if I want to use rational in my main file, of course, I will have to include it here as well. Right. So typically, our own includes will follow the standard library includes. You know, I don't know how important it is, but uh, sometimes you know most programmers do this uh, because you know you just put the standard library uh, headers at the top and then your own and then you know the rest of the file. Okay, so we have all this. Let's see. So what else is proposed? by this uh, kind of uh, set of ideas. Uh, division by zero should not be allowed. Uh, rational 610 can be reduced by 3 fifth. So this should be in, uh, a responsibility of a constructor to do this type of reduction. Uh, also, a rational number approximation. OK, this is an interesting one. Rational, uh, rational uh, uh, numbers are uh, excessive. Uh, you know, used excessively in geometry as an ex as a, as a, you know one of the applications. Uh, floating point approximation of a rational uh, should have a method like convert to double or convert to float. So, uh, since it makes sense, it it may help us in the future. Let's uh, do it this way. So we, we'll. Uh, um, add some operations and one of the operations will be saying double converting to double uh, to double okay and um, takes no uh, parameters I think it should be a constant function it doesn't modify anything inside our class and we just declare it like this so clearly to double just just Take those two numbers, divide divide them, you know, uh, and return the result in form of a double. So uh, copy and paste this into the implementation file. Again, going to have to prefix everything by the scope of our class because everything that we say here uh, comes from our class. And so here we can define it by saying, uh, you know, the most simplistic version, I guess, will be a return. Uh, and divided by d, right? Uh, and divided by d. So here's your fraction. However, uh, this, uh, of course, is an integer. This is another integer. So a result of this attempt uh, to divide integer by integer will be accepted as integer division and not uh, the uh, division by fraction. So we need to first, perhaps, 
promote uh, one of these guys to a to a double so we can construct double from our numerator and then divide it by denominator and that should uh, should uh, basically promote this to double you know construct a double from from this integer which is trivial and then promote this integer to another double so that uh, we get the the, the double uh, division as a result. So we can produce our fraction in form of double by adding this simple uh, code, a simple member function to our class. Okay, makes sense. All right. So there's a, a GNU library which already includes the, the rational class which many people use, but we're trying to kind of explore uh, and get closer to the idea of overloaded operators. Um, so, um, uh, let's take a look at overloaded operators. Uh, basically, what you type is this. Uh, again, I can copy and paste from here, but I won't. So, instead, um, I will just uh, switch to my code and switch to my main and say, okay, what about this? I say rational, right? Uh, rational... Um, rat one and construct it with like you know two fifth two divided by 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 five right so this fraction and then uh, actually let me save this first 